Herb Greenberg, you've been in the game for a long time, longer than I have. How's it feel to be uh, called a crooked reporter on CNBC? Uh, it feels like the person who called me a crooked re uh, reporter on CNBC, uh, Patrick Byrne, mm -hmm. for the third time, has libeled me, has defamed me, has slandered me, is getting in the way of me doing my job. He's getting. But aren't you he, taking money from the shorts? I mean, ain't that the game? Isn't that the game that he just portrayed you as? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what he said. Yeah, he has absolutely no proof. What he claims he has here, what Patrick Byrne claims he has, is affidavits that were filed in connection with the lawsuit. As I have written in my column on Market Watch, these affidavits, which were com which were given under the the legally, they would be committing perjury if they were a lie. Are a lie. What they wrote. And so Patrick is going around handing out, he's handing these things out to people before they're even filed with the law, yeah, with the courts. Well, you know, I gotta tell you something. Yeah. It is a sham. It is the ultimate. Well, you know, I got the, uh, I got the, uh, yes, subpoena from the government last week, too. Did you? Here's my copy. Yeah, I got it. You know why I got the subpoena? I got the subpoena because I've said negative things about a stock that I think is going lower. That's why I got that subpoena. I didn't get the subpoena because I'm corrupt and crooked like you. <laughs> right? Let me tell you something, buddy. That's why you got a subpoena from the United States government, because you and I both tried to get people out of a stock that we said was going lower that then went lower. But what's really going on is there's a conspiracy. There's another conspiracy. There is a cons The real conspiracy, if there's a conspiracy, is a conspiracy by these people to try to silence the critics.